Dana Gordon, you're on speakerphone and my wife's in the car. Oh, uh, hi. Hello. So, how was the funeral? It was fun. So you spoke to John? Spoke to John about what? <laughs> well, I was at that place for a decade, Ari. I know all about it. OK, what do you want? I want to be under you. Dana, I told you, my wife's in the car. <laughs> Very funny. I want to be your number two. I know everyone there. I helped build that place. And if it weren't for Alan being such a woman-hating piece of shit, I'd still be helping. Understood. Listen, let's see how it plays out. Just asking for consideration, Ari. I'll get back to you. Bye. I'm on speaker with my wife in the car. It's common courtesy. It's been, we don't, I don't talk about but, my relationships but, with nobody like that. Let me, let me say like this. <laughs> I don't mind anybody asking me a question. You can ask me whatever you ask. My I'm not, I don't not, care. But I'm That's not my business. I'm not thinking about is, you and another woman. If somebody disrespects, it's, it's another level. Oh, I, I can't even imagine not somebody disres disrespecting me. Exactly. Nah, not exactly, Envy. He was testing your temperature. All right, that was a temperature check. He wanted to see if you would have the same energy for him that you had for Tyrese. He wanted to see if you would disrespect him like you disrespected Tyrese. He wanted you to say, bruh, if you disrespected my wife, I would have boxed your mouth too. But, you know, you would have that same energy. You know, it was a little bit reserved. And even Diddy had to, like... Take Envy from off the edge and let him know that he was just playing with him. Yeah, yeah. but that's that's my yeah. feeling. Okay. I mean, that's how I feel. And it's right. easy for people to go online. <laughs> I'm just fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Yo, I'm not. I'm not. You see the no beige body. rage coming? No yeah. 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 You see the, the beige rage coming? coming. The, the beige rage, rage, rage was coming. <laughs> the beige rage was coming. I don't care. The beige rage. Envy is going really. I don't know. Envy, you got to go into the love frequency. I get that. I'm glad that things ain't go left, but I'm also glad that Diddy and Charlamagne sort of caught it out. That Envy energy has been like, you know, like has been just off right now. It could be he's dealing with the accusations of him scamming or people coming after him for something that had to do with a real. What's good, y'all? Let's have a quick chat, especially my ladies. All my ladies that watch this video, you really need to pay attention. Um, what, what people don't realize and understand is this is exactly, exactly the same scenario as Will Smith, Jada, Will Smith giving him that look. I'm sorry, his wife giving him that look and he going up there and smacking Chris Rock in the face. When you are dealing with turmoil in your relationship, you can emasculate your partner without even knowing that you've emasculated your partner. Envy's wife. See, this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, come on. Don't. It's Vince. Ari, don't you feel that a lacking sexual relationship is a big problem in a marriage? Oh, I do, Doc, but we fuck more than any other married couple you know. And, and I know this because Whenever we go out with another married couple and the subject comes up, they always say, you know, I can't believe how often you guys fuck. I was basically saying that she was getting too cool, too comfortable with Tyrese. And Tyrese was trying to shoot his shot with his wife. So innately, when a man goes behind your back and tries to sleep with your wife, you have been emasculated. Like, that's just facts. Hold my pocket. Wallahi, nothing's in there. Everywhere we go tonight, you're gonna hold that. Practice right now, we're gonna walk down that thing, okay? Ready? You're doing good. Everywhere we're going, I'm gonna keep you safe. Oh, thanks, man. But so, Envy's in a position, a weird position right now, where he's in that overprotective state. You know what I'm saying? And, and this, is, this is just like it's a man's job to provide, protect, and give gems when gems are in need like this is a job of a woman this is a job of a wife you you should never have your man in limbo and questioning so much shit and questioning his manhood you know he's he's trying to overprotect his wife when you know don't don't be talking about my wife or i'll box your mouth it's fence baby i don't give a fuck okay well so you know uh after the year that I've had, and on the most important day of my life, you think that she would 
asked me what I wanted, you know, a nice blowjob perhaps, where I could just sit back for the first time in nine months and do nothing but admire the top of her head and pray that this fucking movie opens so I can stop selling off assets like we're fucking Michael Jackson, all right? Now I have to answer the fucking bat phone when I read three fucking times and it's fucking Vince, okay? So, Eric, speak. Well, there's been right. another blackout in a completely different part of the valley. What, you need a fucking nightlight? Bro, Envy's gonna say that to the wrong person. I'm not gonna... But what's the deal, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? This is why um, they say you should never bring your problems into the workplace. And his problem is the workplace topic. Like, this is crazy. And those chairs, I mean, bro, th those chairs make you look small. I mean... If it's all about perception, those king chairs, those those chairs make you look little. I mean, you, you got to look at the big picture. Like, your wife also is making you look little. So, women, take this as a, a gem. Like, don't ever let your man feel this way. If he's starting to feel this way, do something to make your man feel strong. Do something to put your man in a position of power if he's in a power in a position of weakness at that point in time this is your job his wife is doing a terrible job just like she was when she was in bed ha ha kiki with tyrese in the dms while they were in bed like i wouldn't even have mentioned it i wouldn't even have said anything but shorty you're not getting a ring you're not getting a ring for me people are so willing to get a partner that they just hmm this one's cool I guess I'll settle for this one no I will cut you off with the quickness if you're not giving me a hundred and five percent because I would expect the same of you to just go ghost ghost me if I'm not giving you my all you know I have a lot to learn but as I learn about true female nature they're starting to attach more and attach more and not want to detach so I know that something is right you know um, it, it's not it's not perfect yet but you know the response that I'm getting is more like wanting to stay in the picture so as I'm getting older I'm finding more ways to for them to want to attach and not to detach but this is not a good sign this is gonna get worse did he check your temperature? And this is not just to the Joker outfit. He checked your temperature to see if you're going to pop off the same way. Okay. Did he got big money and he's no big crazy. So Envy, like, go home, punish your wife, and then get a little bit of your confidence back. Call the flogger. It's J. V. And everything about this blue collar, we get it out the mud. Envy, you should realize that blue collar is what is going to attract her to you. So get back on your blue collar, bruh. Stop with this wishy-washy shit, man. Stay tuned. I'm buying a very big company. Oh, congrats. Which he said wouldn't cost us anything. This deal will make me the head of the largest agency in the entire entertainment business. You said it wouldn't cost us anything. Well, I didn't think that it would. He said the company was going to buy it. I thought that the company could, but it's been a rough year, so, you know, we're a little strapped for cash. But the bank has asked me to personally guarantee something. $12 million. I think it's great that you two have such open communication about your money. It's not our money. It's her money. Oh. And I just put up my money when we started this new agency. And that was over two years ago, and we still haven't gotten all of that money back yet. And that doesn't concern you, Ari? No, because we're going to make it back 50 times on this one. You don't see it this way. Even if I did, I, I don't see this as just about business. Is it about ego, Ari? Well, I've always dreamed about ruling the world, but now that I'm getting older, I would settle for ruling Hollywood. Oh, it goes much deeper than that. He's got enemies at this company he wants to buy. I have enemies everywhere. Who are these enemies? These are very personal conflicts. He wants payback, and I'm not sure he's thinking clearly. What? Tell me about these conflicts, Ari. They, they don't matter. Your wife seems to think they do. My wife doesn't know how I do my business. But you need her money in order to buy this business that you want. So why do you want it? For revenge. For a music department. For Terrence. For a book department that I can pair with filmmakers. And for Lloyd. For sports stars. Is it possible that these people are the reason you want to buy the agency? Yes, he wants to destroy them. Tell her. Tell her. Is it true? Do you want to destroy these people, Ari? Okay, yes. If I could gouge out Terrence McEwick's eyeballs and eat them for what he did to me, I would. My business, I'm not thinking about is, you and another woman. If somebody disrespects, it's, it's another level. 
Oh, I, I can't even imagine somebody disrespecting. Young Miami on payroll, who's a thought? I know you're making millions, but he was just throwing her cash. Like, he's throwing her over how many millions of dollars? I'm not saying it's. If you're at an upper echelon of success, it's still pay to play. Like, you should. They should want to pay for the access. But even Diddy, you paying to pay. Paying to play. Paying to piss on these girls, dude. I would have banged right back on Diddy, like, bro, Mace, Mace outdid you in the Can't Nobody Hold Me Down video, and he did it, he outdid you in the, what was it, um, been around the world tonight, yeah, yeah, come on, Mace, you, you can't go bar, bar for bar with Mace, he outdid you on that one, too, come on now, Mace all day, but, like, he, <laughs> Diddy got big money, so, yes, he, he, he was, he was playing around with Envy, like, let's see if you're gonna come with that same energy, but he drunk. <laughs>